Okay, this lesson for the Corne Project class returns to the Gospel of John, the first chapter. We looked at verses 11, 12, and 13 of the first chapter because they seem to be that around which there's a lot of energy in asserting and affirming things sometimes quite adamantly. So let's go to the beginning of the chapter, chapter 1, and then I'll write it out and be as efficient as I can. It's been hectic, family, all that, but it's time to get back to work. But there's an amazing pattern I noticed in studying the text that the Bible is very careful to distinguish between punctual, simple action represented by the dot and continuous action, because in the Corne text, emphasis is on kind of action. And in our academic world, we would call that um, inflectional morphemes. And those are the forms in which words appear that indicate if it's a noun, whether it's nominative case, genitive, ablative, and then we have a verb. It would tell us if it's aorist tense or if it is present tense, which is what we're emphasizing now. So in this first chapter, we have believe as an aorist simple action and then believing a continuous action. And one is a finite verb showing an action simple and the other is a participle. So let's look at that and see if we can't get this done. And you can fast forward past all of this. This is for the Corne class. So 1, 1 through 13, and we'll just start writing it out. In, RK, RK, in beginning. Now, the vocabulary is very repetitive. That is redundant, and it'll help you. And this is imperfect form of Amy was being. Ho logos, and you pronounce this word any way you want to. Some say logos. My habit was formed from the way I said it when I didn't know what I was talking about. So the logos was being in beginning. Chi and ho logos was being pros. Good work on your prepositions. Was being toward ton the on the god. And then we have this an Arthurus preverbal noun, as I've heard it described. Chi Theos and God, no article, was being a logos. And of course, you see this articular noun following. So it's a post verbal articular noun, if you need words for it. And we'll cover this, the controversy around this, which is really uh, dissolves easily uh, with the use of proper grammar. So, number two, verse two. It says, hutos, hutos, this one or this word in beginning, in beginning. So we see things repeating. And it's good exercise, freehand it, do it from memory. And of course, you can correct my mistakes as I do. And we'll all grow and learn together. In beginning was being, again, was being pros pawn. On, toward God, toward the God. Verse 3, Ponta, Ponta, all things <clears throat> through him, Dia has the Alpha drop there because it, before a vowel, it's omitted. Through him, Egneto came to be, <clears throat> came to be, Kai, Coris, Coris, and without him, out to, and without him, <clears throat> Egoneto, Egoneto, Ude, in, which, so, and without him, not even one, here's the number one, not even, emphatic negative here, not even one, Thing came to be which yeah, which has come to be. That's perfect tense. So, verse four, um, and in him, alto, alto, and zoe. 
So A, in him life was being in him, and Chi, A, A, so A, the life was being, now I'm out of word order, I think, was being the light, was being the light, yes, yes, so, and so in him was life was being and the life was being the light tone of the men, of the anthropone, anthropone. There. Now verse five. Verse five. The wait a minute. In darkness, in the darkness, the scodia. In the darkness, the light, tophos. So the light in the darkness is shining. Fine, fine. Now notice this is just a present indicative active third person singular. It is shining. The light is shining in the darkness. Kai, Kai, and a hey scodia the darkness scodia who did not kate laban you can see that second heiress there did not receive according to it we didn't need the kappa here because we have one there so if you ever notice your negative particles uh, sometimes they have the consonant at the end and sometimes not. Did not receive according to it. Verse 6. Agoneto. Agoneto. Anthropos. Now you won't regret writing this out and freehand it. Like I said, I'd rather have mistakes and continue to improve. So a man came to be. Ape, this is um, perfect passive participle. Ape stall minos. Who having been sent forth away from para alongside, alongside. God. Okay, so he, so a man came to be who, having been sent forth from alongside God, a onama, a name, a name for him, alto, is John. We'll just add is because it's not in the text there. Yo. Ones, isn't that something? Some of the easiest things, you know, So his name is John. Okay, number seven. Now we're back to you. Remember we had uh, in verse two this one referring to the word masculine. There, this one. Now we have this one, this man, for example, Hutos. This man came. Elthen, Elthen came a, into, this is martyr, remember that martyr, martyrion, sorry, I forget, into a witness in order that martyr again, martyr a say, notice this is subjunctive, aorist tense, so it's aorist active subjunctive, simple form of action. So it's a dot in order that he might witness concerning, concerning two photos, concerning the light, concerning the light. And then again, another one, two of these conjunctions in order that, in order that, all men, Pontes, all men. And then here's our word that we're really interested in. P 
is stu pistus ozine. Now notice that that's punctual action that all men might believe dia the alpha is dropped might believe through him out to out to now where are we we've got six seven verse eight so we have this man now we have not not amen ain he was not being that man at Cain knows. So we had, notice we had this and that. So we had this man came. So we know why he came. Now we have that man was not being the light. The light Allah here. But rather, remember Elthin? He came. I'll just put it there just to make sure we remember how to pull that back down in our mind. But rather, he came in order that Mar Tear say he might witness concerning, notice this is repeating, to photos, photos. There. So now we go to verse 9. 9, here we go. 9. Okay, so verse 9. So, here we go. The light, tophos, ain, was being to the truth, ale, ale, the non. There we go. Was being the truth, which, as we had which up here, which fo tise. Notice again, that's just present active indicative, uh, third person singular as we had up here. So that's really some simple grammar, which is enlightening in the King James, our English Bible, the one we use in this class. It said enlightened in the for this word when it was eris. So here we have enlightening. Ponta, Ponta, every on throw pawn, every man, every man. I notice this is uh, singular here, and then up here it was neuter plural. Every man, and how's he doing it? Erk, Amenon, by coming into Ton. Cosmone coming into the world. Okay, so verse 10. <clears throat> in the world, trying to stay with it. It'll, it'll tell you, you know, our familiarity with the text in English, those of you that use it. In the seminary, we would have to write our memory verses out from the Bible verbatim, English, including the punctuation. So I'm very thankful for that, although at that time it was arduous, but uh, it's good, good exercise. Into Cosmo. And notice how many times we used Cosmo. So here's locative case. Locative case. I don't know what it is, me trying to write in the word. Ain. Ain. He was being in the world. Kai and Ho Cosmos. Eganetto. I think I got that out of order. I think, and, and through him, Eganetto, and the world came to be through him. Again, that's omitted. Out to Kai and Ho Cosmos, Cosmos, and the world. Out on. Wait a minute. Did not receive para. I left something out. I think I misspelled something. In the darkness and did not receive. I left out alto here. My, when my brain does that to me, it, it it's, can be excruciating. 
did not receive according to it. The darkness did not receive according to it, staying consistent with the neuter of the phos there, tophos. And the, the world, and that's a final form, has a mistake there. So you have a sigma has an internal form and a final form. And the world, alton, egno, again, this is interesting. That's aorist tense, did not know him. Did not know him. Now back to the verses we used recently. You remember these? Ace, ta, idia. He came unto his own things. Elthin. He came into his own things, Kai, and this is masculine, that's neuter, plural, so things, we're referring to created things, and the his own itty oi, his own people, who did not, and we have the Pi here, so we don't need a kappa at the end. Paralaban did not receive him alongside. Did not receive him alongside. Then we have that break. But hos oi, but the ones that received him, but yes. But rather, the ones that received him, the ones, I'm sorry, here we go, Elaban, Elaban, but the, but the ones who received him, Alton, to them, To them he gave, here we go, sorry, Edokin, he gave to them, Altois, sorry, Altois, he gave to them, yeah, but the ones that received him, he gave to them authority, Exousia, we've covered this one before, I didn't review that one, Exousion, authority, and here we have uh, Tekna, that's children, Tekna of God, children of God. Here we have that infinitive, Ganesthai, Ganesthai, to become children of God. And then we have this, which is very interesting for us, because here we have this that we were talking about. I'll try to put that in color there. Maybe that'll help. So let's keep our eye here on this use of believe in a puncture sense. And then here, gave them authority to come to be children of God to the ones, toys, to the ones, pistu, usin. Now this is to the ones already believing. So this is continuous action. It's also a gerundive noun. There. To the ones who are already believing into ace, to, onama, onama, in the name of him, out to. Now we'll go to the last, well, verse 12. Oh, I think I may have verse 12 already up there. Yeah, he came into his own things and his own people did not receive him alongside. I think that's verse 12. So verse 13, modify explaining who these are. Let me. Yeah, verse 12. That'll work. Yes. And I'm not sure, I think that's de, de, post-positive conjunction, should be on the other side there. So let's move on before I uh, force you all to have to play even faster. And this says, um, the ones, 
staying with this, but to the ones who are already believing into the name of him, the ones uh, who not, not, and then it's ex out from imatone. That's plural, bloods. I said bloodlines. Neither, udeh, neither out from, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Thelematos, this is where will comes in. Thelematos of flesh, sarcos. Sarcos. Ude, neither out from a will, the lamatos, let me finish that, out from the lamatos. And this is Andros, Andros, where we get our word Andrew, Andros, of a husband. Here we go. But rather, this is a strong break here, but rather, but rather, ek, out from God, see if I can remember this one. Egg, it's from Ganao, Ganes, Face, Son. There we go. But rather, but rather, then the ones is understood. We're still thinking about the ones. Remember, the ones not. Out from bloodlines, neither out from a will of flesh, neither out from a will of a man, a husband, but rather the ones fathered, fathered, passive, fathered, out from God. So we can correct all this just later, but I wanted to give you a quote from a commentary. Yes, I know it's odd that I would suggest that, but... It's, it's, it's very pertinent to the elimination of the will of man because some of the controversies about regeneration precedes faith. Uh, again, my interest in the text is to show you who use it and actually study it is that we have in the Bible the intelligently inspired, didactically formatted by the all-knowing, all-powerful, everywhere present Godhead is the one who is emphasizing this finite verb, believe, and this distinction here. In 1 John 5, 1, John does the same thing by saying, 1 John, same author, 1 John 5, 1. You remember he said, the one who is already is to own, already believing, he said, has been previously get. Gene, gene, tie, yes. Perfect passive indicative has been previously fathered. That's a perfect, perfect passive indicative. And then also in John 20, 31, those of you that use your King James Bible, you noticed in the English text, believe and believing appear in the same verse, showing that even the translators acknowledge this distinction. So it's very important, especially as this first chapter begins. So let me read this uh, comment here, if I can get there. Here we go. And let me see. So faith and regeneration. I'm trying to look it up here. I should have already had that ready for you. But you can you can uh, be looking at this. It gets busy, but again, you know, you can write this out. Okay, so here it is. It says, there is no place here for man's will, even as influenced by God's spirit. God commands the light of his word to shine into one's heart and... Like blind men suddenly able to see, he perceives it as true. 2 Corinthians 4, 6. 
Once received as truth, that is believed, there is no room for man's will to act. Faith and regeneration have already occurred. Now this quote, and I'll place this online there, <clears throat> is from this book, The Grace New Testament Commentary by Dr. Robert N. Wilkin. That is, he's listed as the editor. So this is a good lesson. It shows you that uh, there are those out there bantering constantly. But again, my interest as yours in this class is in the text. We have a noun. John came. He's a witness. You see martyr in that. Puncture action that he might witness. We have here all men might believe. Puncture action through him. Then for those already believing, he gave to us who are already believing authority to come to be authority to come to be children of God. So have a blessed day. Enjoy this lesson. And when my throat gets better and I get over all the people here yesterday and our services on the Lord's Day yesterday get going again, we'll have some more substantial lessons. So have a blessed day.